Well, I'll tell you some of the stuff that uh, that was worrying the producers at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. They didn't know if people were going to laugh. Okay. You know, as soon as the apes came on, they didn't know if the makeup would sustain throughout the whole film because they weren't sure that they could distinguish between what ape was what ape, you know. So uh, uh, John Chambers, who yes. created the makeup, yes. what, what he did is uh, he got all the principles and they made a mold of the principal's face. Mm -hmm. And so after that mold was done, there's a like a picture of my face. Yeah. That's my face there. They would give that to an artist. And that artist would uh, would then working with clay change my face into what came to be Lucius, yeah. you know, just for me. And then they took those, those appliances, those additional pieces that made me into an ape, and they made a mole of those. And every day they would fire up the, the different pieces and we would then put them on our face. And we had to do it every day because we had to stipple it down, mm -hmm. you know, so that, you know, when Planet first came out, it was in 70 millimeter. So your face is really giant on the yeah. screen. And so you could see if there was any, <laughs> you know, little additional things. Yeah. So they, the, the applications every day had to be pristine, you know. So when they took them off at the end of the day, they would throw the old ones away or they would give them uh, to other makeup artists for, uh, for apes who were um, extras but close in, you know. Most of the, like in a big crowd scene, there'd be the principals who were completely made up. Yes. And then behind them would be uh, the, the apes that, that were used, they used the old stuff, but, but they were, uh, it looks oh, really? pretty yeah. good, yeah. but, Still, but you're, yes, you're far enough back that you don't see, <laughs> you know, anything. And then wow. for the apes that were far farther back, they had masks, they just put a mask on. But so, uh, the, the first week of photography was in Page, Arizona. That's, we were in the Forbidden Zone. Yes. You know, and, um, and the, the producers were scared to death because um, this was the first dailies that we're going to see of, you know, of, of what we look like. And um, I remember the second day that we shot, everyone was just so thrilled because that first day's stuff was great, you know? And because Johnny did the molds of each individual, after four or five minutes in the film, you could recognize anybody. You know, you knew who Cornelius was. Yes. He wasn't Lucius or he wasn't, you know, uh, another chimpanzee. And, and the same with, uh, with Kim's character, you know. And so that's what made the film work. Besides the acting, the actors were wonderful. They were, you know, they, they were by and large stage actors and and they could make this all come alive, and uh, and it was just really, um, really interesting. And uh, 
for me personally, mm -hmm. I remember uh, when I got the part, I went to the zoo and I, I went for like maybe four or five days just studying the chimpanzees, <laughs> you know, seeing if there's something I could think of I could use, I could, you know, and I came up with the walk. <laughs> you yeah. know, the, the walk yes. that the chimpanzees used. And then the first day when we were back on the set, I had a scene where I come to uh, break Heston out of jail. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. like, you know, he's in there. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so before we shot, before we began that sequence, the director brought me into his trailer, which was on the set, you know, with Roddy, Roddy was in there, and it was Franklin Schaffner was the director. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Franklin said, uh, Lou, we've come up with a walk that we want to use in the film. So Roddy will show it to you, and then, and then you could, you know, uh, we'll work on it, and, you know, and then we'll use that from now on. So Roddy showed me the walk, and it was the exact same walk I had come up with by studying, you know. So, I mean, that was really great. Not only did I realize I was on the right track, yeah. but, yeah. but I didn't have to um, study for two hours before we started shooting. I knew it, you know. Mm -hmm. So that, that was a, a neat part for me. And I just... Um, I was just so proud to be in that movie. Uh, all the things that it stood for, you know, uh, like somebody pointed out to us uh, when we were all on location. He said, do you notice that, um, that, uh, all the chimpanzees are eating lunch together, and all the gorillas was are that eating lunch. Really? I mean, it's just, it was really? amazing. I, I, you know? I read about that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they just, just gravitate. It's human nature, I guess, to just seek out your own. And, and this, uh, this film pointed it up and showed you know, what we were doing, it, it was an allegory. Mm -hmm. You know, it was an, it, it mirrored human nature, you know? And uh, I, I remember um, a parent after seeing the movie uh, came up to me and said, you know, my son learned that from now on, he's gonna treat his dog better. <laughs> oh. Because the apes treated Heston so badly and chased him and, you know, beat him down and, you know. So there, there was just, just so many dimensions to the film, you know. Um, how to be kinder, uh, how to be smarter, um, how to be dumber, you know, all that. All that stuff was all married in that film. Yeah, it was a, it was a wonderful film. Well, is it true that regarding the makeup, your makeup specifically, d d your, your makeup specifically, was it was it your hair? Oh yeah, was I was the only your, one. Oh, yeah, I had. Yeah. I had long hair at the time. I had, <laughs> had a big right. DA, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, so that's your hair. And so they said, "Okay, well, we can use that. We, we don't have to put the pieces here. <laughs> we'll just use the real pieces." Uh -huh. So if you see like a side shot of me, it's like a like a, a modern uh, DA of those <laughs> days, you know, that that I was living in, yeah. you know. So uh, yeah. yeah, that that. Yeah. That's that true. was true, yeah. How about, uh, I don't know, sir, if you remember the scenes. There was a scene there were uh, 
Charlton Heston was running and then he went to the funeral service. Do you remember that scene? Um, I can speak up just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the scene. Okay. The scene. Charlton Heston running and then he went to the funeral service. Oh, well, yeah, he's running through the funeral service? Yes. And yes. the little kid says... It's a man. Ma yeah, it's okay. a man, yeah. Now, the, the ape fans have been discussing this because uh, apparently there were no... There were a lot of chimp females, right? Uh -huh. With Zira and other chimpanzees, but there were no gorillas or or Angotan females in the film. Now... Oh, you mean no female gorillas? No female uh -huh. gorillas. Oh, sure. Or, or female, female orangutans. orangutans. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes, yes. But in that particular scene, uh, it was for the funeral service of a dead gorilla soldier. Yeah. And then uh, there were... Uh, I don't know if you heard about it, but... Uh, supposedly, there were three female gorillas in there. Have you heard anything in the production about that? No, but they were they were probably extras. Okay. Because uh, they didn't have any lines. They were no, no probably lines. just crying or yeah. you know and yeah, um, yeah. The, uh, no. the, I, I, I'm sure they must have been extras that they made up. Uh -huh. Just for that scene, okay. because you know, if you if you think about it, um, we only knew that chimpanzees um, had had uh, uh, females because uh, Doctor Zira, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Doctor Zira is what was a principal, and yes. and we entered her world, yeah. you know, and so. Uh, we didn't enter the world of another gorilla except for the gorillas on the hunt or the gorillas yeah. guarding or the gorillas uh, in the in the um, in in the uh, the cages you know guarding the cages and stuff so there would be no reason cuz usually you wouldn't have a female gorilla guarding yeah. somebody or on a hunt firing or you That's know right. And the same with uh, with the orangutans. Only the principal orangutans that were that were part of the actual movie. Mm -hmm. We not we never saw the home life of an orangutan. Right. So you know, but uh, it's very interesting uh, in the crowd scenes, like in yeah. Eat Village. I never thought to look to see if there was you know any females in there. Yeah. So I I don't know. But, you know, um, the story takes you into different areas and stuff, yeah, and correct. those areas, you know, are personified by the people in those areas, and, and uh, only Dr. Zira, who happened to be a female, you know, was, was a focus in, in her area, you know, so, yeah. yeah. But I, I, I don't think it was a conscious thing, you know. But maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's, there was a lot of debate. That's why. Yeah. That's no, I mean it's it, it, it's it's um, it's a very interesting film to to ponder, to take apart, yeah. and you know, because I think the more you really take apart this film, the more you'll be amazed at 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 the uh, intelligence of the script and, and, and what they were trying to do. You know, in, in that time, you know, as I, I was telling you before, it was, um, it was a time where the bomb was still scary. And, and, um, and we did, you know, in, in school, we'd do the, you know, duck and hide, and uh, like that would have helped us with an A-bomb, you know. But uh, people were worried. Some people um, had trouble sleeping because, yeah. you know, the, 
the Russians and all this happening, you know. But uh, th that's another um, reason that the film struck home so well, because it uh, it again allegorically said, you know, come on, mankind, keep screwing around, and and we're gonna blow it all up, you know. And um, you know that. That resonated with 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 everybody. You know. um, and then the ending. Oh. Rod Serling came up with the ending, which has got to be, you know, one of the great endings in film. Yeah. But uh, I, uh, I'm. I'll tell you something about Heston. Okay. He, at the time, he was the the uh, president of the Screen Actors Guild when we were filming, and um, uh, there was no politics, you know, at, at that time. That that you know. So I'm, I'm, I don't mean to talk about anything, you know, regarding Heston's politics but just to show what kind of a guy he was, you know. He ran every day. So he was in his loincloth and he'd, you know, he'd run and work out and stuff, you know, during the film. And the first week that we were on location, we were, um, there was the, um, the main, um, location where the company uh, parked their cars and and they had uh, we went back for lunch and you know and, and we were we were on a set way down uh, on the Colorado River mm -hmm. and they realized that they didn't bring straws for for Kim, for Roddy, for me, and for uh, for uh, uh, Morris, Morris. Yeah. and we needed that because we they we couldn't drink <laughs> because we mess up the, the makeup, you know. So Chuck took he said, "How how many of you are here?" And he he ran back to the set to the base camp wow. and got straws for all of us and brought it back. So, I mean, that's, wow. you know. Wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> wow. how are you? What? <laughs> we meet you in the second uh, continent, second part and the third part of the films. <laughs> But, um, so I mean, that's, you know, some, some neat memories, uh -huh. you know, of, of, of the show. So how Any, did you stumble upon the role of Lucius? Did you, uh, was there an audition? Uh, how did you stumble upon the role of Lucius? Um, uh, it was very fortuitous. It was um, it was just a call, uh -huh. you know, and um, the the my first meeting was with uh, Franklin Schaffner. He just wanted to meet me and talk to me and get an impression, you know, and uh, we talked for maybe about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then um, he said, okay, well, uh, I notice you have uh, hazel eyes. Uh -huh. All the, the chimpanzees have to have brown eyes. So um, do you wear contact lenses? And I said, no, but 
I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he said, okay, um, just checking. And 20 minutes later, my agent called and said, what did you say? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, uh, well, you got the part. <laughs> so just based on, you know, talking to me, uh, he gave me the part. You know, one of the luckiest things I ever had, you know, happened to me. Did you have a hard time talking? Because right now it's really very hard to talk to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I know. You, you, we had to learn, you know. And not only that, we had to learn to animate. We had to, underneath all that, we had to talk like that, so that little things were moving, not bad, but so that you could see that, you know. But I think also the fact that most of us were stage actors. Uh -huh. And we, we learned to project, you know, to the second balcony. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that helped a lot, you know. But um, we just all worked, you know, wonderfully well together. And, and uh, it was a, a great director, a great script, a great cast, and, you know, just... Uh, all around serendipity for everybody. Yes. Know. And then they called you, did they call you to be in Conquest of the Planet of the Apes? Um, well, I, I was in, in um, three, the first one, uh -huh. and then the second one by way of a film clip. They started oh, yes, yes. beneath, they yes. started that with yes. the yes. end of the planet, you know. And then I was in the one, uh, um, I think it was Battle, well, where it was set in Century City. Yes. You know, a modern day where, uh -huh. where they uh, finally rebelled. And I was, uh, I was supposed to be Roddy's right-hand man. Uh -huh. And, um, and the, the first day that I got there, they said, oh, uh, we've, We've changed the whole script and you're out. Oh. <laughs> you're just in today's stuff, you know. So, uh, so I was, I was an actual co-star in that one, you know. And they said, um, "Well, you're just in today's. You're, you're you'll be the um, the." Um, the waiter who sets fire to the place <laughs> and you'll steal some knives and stuff and you'll bring them back. But instead of being with Roddy the whole time, then that's it, you know. So uh, since you already have a, a contract and you're guest star, uh, you're not guest star, but you're co-starring on it, you know, with, uh, you know, better better billing than I had on Planet, they said, would it be okay if we just take that out, you know, or your co-star out? And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll see in that, I'll have super billing, yeah. but you know, two quick scenes. <laughs> but, uh, but for me, I mean, the others were really great and interesting and fun. Some were funny, you know, mm -hmm. but for me, there there was nothing like the first one, yeah. you know, yeah. just okay. nothing like the first one. Yeah. Any other questions? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the new series, the new Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? Well, say well. Uh, you you ask the, the question. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> You just speak English, maybe. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I just couldn't hear it. The last two films, um, yeah. the Down of the Oh, I, I, you know, you I haven't seen those. No. Uh, I hear they're really, really good. You know, I don't, uh, I don't think so. But, <laughs> but, but in 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 the final uh, tally, uh, it's how good is the script? Ah, yes, yes. You know, yes, yes. because the makeup I know is wonderful. 
you know, the stuff I've seen is just super. And, and even uh, in Rick Baker's stuff, uh, the makeup was wonderful, but that movie the script didn't really have a script. I saw that one, you yeah. know. The, the, you know, and, and uh, but I hear the, the, the script of this one, uh, the last two, are very good. So, uh, you know, I would say, you know, <laughs> so I, yeah, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. But uh, I know that the makeup is wonderful, you know, and the CG is great, you know. It's just that um, um, it's, as an actor, mm -hmm. acting, yeah. it's so much neater to do the whole thing, for me, you know, uh, rather than to have the, the makeup artist, you know, sketch it in afterwards and however, right, yeah. you know, fabulous way they do, you know. Just, just wow. um, as a journeyman actor, it's just, you know, richer, <laughs> you know, to be able to just do it, but, you know, that era is gone. Now we're in the CG. It's, We'll never go back to this stuff because number one, it costs too much. It takes too long to do, mm -hmm. you know. And um, you can you can do so much better with CG, I guess, you know. So that era is gone for me. But I was in it. You were. It's a big history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes when I meet uh, those younger, the younger generation yeah. that saw Dawn or Rise of the Planet of the Apes, yeah, and because it's CG now, yeah, they liked it, and yeah. then I, I ask them, "Have you seen the the original plan? They, what? No, no, what original? Said, what? Okay, go ahead. There's, there's a, this film from." <laughs> <laughs> that was based on that film right. and yeah. have a look. Yeah. And they said, wow. Yeah. They said, they, wow, that's they, incredible. They follow things yeah. <laughs> and then they go yeah. and, they and <laughs> see you guys. And those younger younger guys, we talked to them. Yeah. So have you seen Lucius in that, yeah. in that <laughs> film? Well, you oh, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, you know, if, if, uh, the first film holds up, and I think it does. Yes, it does, really. Uh, the, the generations now um, are missing out on seeing it on the big screen. Yeah. They, they see it now, but they see it on DVDs, or yes. they'll see it on TV, right. you know. Yeah. But it's nothing like so, when you were in the theater. Right. And, and that, that rope is pulled up with Heston in that thing, and he says, take your goddamn hands off, <laughs> you damn dirty ape, you know? The audience went crazy, you know, during that scene. You know, cheering and yelling, because he couldn't talk before that, you know? Yeah. He'd been hurt, uh -huh. you know? Yeah. But w once he could finally say something, ah, they were just, they went crazy. Uh, that was first words when he finally was able to speak something, to say something. Yeah, yeah. because he got damaged. And right, the, uh, right, uh, right, yeah. Yeah, so that's, you know, I think it'll, it'll last, you know, it'll be there for history, uh -huh. but, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I think very few people will be able to see it on the big screen. Any other questions? <laughs> uh, just to let you know, there's just to let you know, there's still uh, fans out there Good. who are re yeah. still on a daily basis, still talking about you guys, especially on Facebook, still talking about the scenes and uh, quoting your quotes. And still alive. Yeah, good. With, with our generation. Good, yeah. good, good. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, now you have, you know, 
these, I'm sure it'll continue because the, the CG is bringing people back, you know. But, um, you know, one of the things that, that shocked me about the TV series was the whole premise of Planet of the Apes is that uh, except for the astronauts that came back, mm -hmm. all the humans couldn't speak. Yeah, yeah. That's right. But in the TV show, the humans could speak yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. because the producers were afraid they couldn't get actors if they couldn't speak. So they had to speak, you know. So oh. that blew the whole premise of, of, yeah. of the show, you know. Oh. Yep. But. <laughs> But um, I guess in conclusion, just know that uh, uh, I'm very, very proud to have been part of that film. Yeah. That film stands as one of those films that stand the test of time. So, yeah. You know, yeah. It's one of those you put on that list. I will. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, uh, you know, I've been in the business you know, 40 years, and, you know, I can count on one hand the things I'm proud of, and that's, that's number good. one. Yeah. That's good. Good to hear. Well. Very good to hear. Pleasure meeting you guys. Pleasure meeting you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.